Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth. We continue our countdown towards Christmas with eight maids of milking. So only eight puzzles away from Christmas Day. And uh, you can see, is that actually eight maids? One, two, three, that's seven. One must be sort of wandering in these beautiful hills in the background and uh, they're milking away. Shall we just take a look at what the puzzle is? Let's do that. So eight maids of milking by willpower. And um, if you read the rules, you can, you'll be able to just about make out essentially what this kind of diagram is. So obviously the reference to eight here in the bottom, that's the digit eight. Now these are meant to be the hands of the milkmaid. And you can see two of them hanging onto what I'm guessing are the cow's teats. And milk is just sort of dropping down into a bucket of some sort. So that's what this diagram is all about today. Initially, when I looked at it until I read the rules, I thought this was almost like a cow head. So, you know, ears and eyes at the top, and then that's sort of meant to be the nose or mouth. And then there's like a ring for some reason hanging from it, which I kind of initially saw it that way. But let me convince you with the rules, and then you don't actually have to sort of see what I saw earlier. So first off, normal Sudoku rules apply. So that means place the digits 1, 2, 9 in every row, such as this row, every column. Wow, every column. That, that's now a column, not what I had selected earlier. And then every 3x3 three three box, digits 1 to 9 without any repeats. We have Dutch whispers, of course. So that's the bucket top here. Um, numbers on the red line are at least four apart from their neighbor on the line. Numbers may repeat on red lines if other rules allow. Interestingly, I don't know if that's true for previous puzzles. The number five does not appear on the red lines. How cool is that? So this is just purely oscillating between a low digit, such as two, and high digits that have to be four or more away. So that could be six, seven, eight, or nine. That can also be six, seven, eight, or nine. And then you end up going back to a low digit from one, two, three, four. And we can do this with such confidence today because Will has explicitly said there are no fives on the red line. So you'll see this pattern of to be four or more away, you're ending up always going from a high digit to a low digit to a high digit to a low digit and so on and so forth. Remban, that's the maid's hand and the bucket top. You can see that here, that's the purple lines. So numbers on purple lines are each a set of non-repeating consecutive numbers in any order. So we've got kind of one very long Remban line here, another, another, um, and over here as well. So if we continue with our two example, they could be one, two, three. They could also be two, three, four. What they cannot be is two, three, five, because that's no longer consecutive. What else do we know? Thermometer, that's the milk. So numbers on thermometers increase from the bulb end. So for example, if this is a two, this cannot go back down to a one because it has to be increasing from the bulb end, which is here, all the way towards the top. Think of it as a purely physical thermometer, basically. So you go four, five, they don't even have to have regular steps between one another. But again, you cannot go back down to a three because that would break the rule of thermometers. We have two more rules to go. That's the killer number, killer cages, numbers in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So you've got these outlines with dashed lines of a number of cells. Three of them here are meant to add up to an eight. If that was a two, for example, these two digits would have to add up to six. That could be one and five, for example. That'd be one valid way of pencil marking this three cell eight cage. And then lastly, we have crop keepers. Numbers with a white dot between them are consecutive. I see only one of them here. So continuing with the two example, if that is two, this digit has to be consecutive. It is either one or three, um, as in one plus one is two or two plus one is three. Not all possible dots are shown, so nothing stops me from using my favorite two with the three next to it. And the blue line which is number eight here, has no effect on the puzzle. It's there purely for visual effect. So if you feel like, um, well, I don't know if you feel like it, uh, 
if you want to observe some eight, eight maids milking cows, uh, if you want to play this puzzle, link will be in the description down below for you to play along as usual. And uh, with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. Oh, I should actually mention just before I restart, I think today's puzzle is a two-star difficulty rating. So the unfortunate part of having to do this, you know, with a consistent countdown is you may end up with difficult puzzles during the weekday. You may end up with relatively easy puzzles during the weekend. We shall discover together. Now, enough all about that. Let me restart the clock and see how I get on. There's so much information on the grid, and at the same time, I'm not really sure where to start. You know, 28 cage, but it's in five cells, so it's not as interesting as you might think. Although the fact that it is on a thermometer that is tempting, the six here can only be done in one of two ways, one five or two four, two three or one four for the five. 12 in four cells, fairly restricted, almost certainly has to have a one, but not too many other restrictions. Um, I think maybe Unusually, I'm actually thinking about the Dutch Whisper line to start the thermometers. And I feel like actually box eight might be the place to be. So we know that this is an eight cage. We know that this is a 13 cage. Together, they add up to 21. Yes. Meaning these three cells have to be 24. Uh, I knew that because you add up all the digits that make up a box. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, you get to 45. So 40 away, 45 taking away 8, taking away the 13, leaves me with 24 in three cells that are unique digits. Emphasis on unique. Means that these have to be 7, 8, 9. And now because... Actually, I mean, this is easy now. This is 7. This is six, because obviously whatever is going to be consecutive to this cell, it's not going to be part of eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. So it had to be something outside of that group. It would be the six. It can only be adjacent to the seven. That's seven. That's six. We have digits. Minute two. And then I'm going to do something unusual for a Dutch whisper, because we were explicitly told there are no fives. So I know all of these digits are high. I know these digits are low, and I'm deliberately using high as in thermometer high, red for six, seven, eight, nine, and then blue as in thermometer cold, one, two, three, four. And then I'm kind of tempted to think around, well, actually, no, let's do this first. I need to get to seven in two cells. I mean, it's not going to be one six. It could be two four, sorry, three four, or it could be two five. And then obviously the one would go with either a two five or a three four. So I'm not sure it's worthwhile pencil marking, if I'm honest. I'm just going to corner a pencil mark the one for now and just. What about this box? 10, 21. That's 31. I need three cells in here, including two low ones. That adds up to 14. So these are not going to be 1 and 2. Because if I'm getting to 14, that can't be an 11 with 3 in here. So am I that restricted? It's worthwhile thinking about how many degrees of freedom do I have? If this is 3, 4, that would be 7. And then that would be another 7 which I can't do on a Dutch Whisper. Seven can't be next to a four. So I can't have a four on here. Well, I can have a four, but it won't be three. It would have to be an eight with maybe, so it could be two, four, eight, for example. That's one possibility. If I just ignore the fours, two and three would be five, and then that could be nine. That's the maximum. And I'm thinking, can I do one and four? That would be still five with a nine in here. 
Now, if I have a 7, that would mean I'd need to have 7. And then I'm back to 3 4s, which would break the Dutch Whisper. So this is 8 or 9 with, depending on whether this is 8 or 9, a whole bunch of different options in here. Not great. Thermometer, maybe? Or, I mean, the other potential break-ins I've sort of ignored would be these Rembans at the top. You know, that 12 cage is very tempting to think about, but before I do so, I'm just going to give this thermometer a go. So I'm looking at the 28 because it's the higher of the two. And if this is a 4, so just absolute minimums from, from here, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, not no 9. What does that add up to? That's 9, and that's 17, sorry, 10. 15, and then another 15, that's 30. So this is less than 4. And I think if I make it minimums from here, like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's going to be way under 28, I'm sure. Because it was 30 the other way around, and I've just taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 away. So that would be 25. So I have... A few degrees of freedom. But essentially, this is one, two, and three. Now, if this was a six, I made this three, four, five, six. That's nine, that's nine, that's 18. I don't think this can be a six. I think this has to be a minimum of seven, eight, or nine. Three, four, five, six. That's correct. That would be 18, and then not enough. So this is 7, 8, or 9. This is a very painful way of trying to solve this. I'm not sure I want to continue down this road. Now, I said if this is a 3, and I minimized everything else, it gets me to 25. So this can't even be a 3. Yeah, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because that was essentially 18 and 7. That's 25. So this is a maximum of two. Which really puts no real pressure on either of these Dutch whispers. So I am probably going to ignore it. Now, the other thing that I can do is, of course, keep these an absolute minimum, one, two, and three. That would be a six. And then I'll be left with... 17 in here. So this can actually be as high as 8. No higher, of course, such as the fact that there is no 9 in this one. But I'm guessing this can be 6, 7, or 8. Yeah, this is tough. This is not how to break in, I can't imagine. Um, 22 cage and 3 cells... Very close. I mean, it has to have a 9, I guess. Because 6, 7, 8 is only 21. 12 cage in 4 cells. I'm very tempted to say it has to have a 1. 2, 3, two, three 4, 5. Gets me to 14, I'm going to say. So I'm tempted to say it has to have a 1 and a 2. Am I right in saying that? Is the question. Because 1, 3, 4, 5 is 13. So yeah, it has to have a 1 and a 2. On a Remban as well. And the 1 and 2 see this cell. So this is the 3, 4. This is the 1, 2. Now, the other thing that's sort of in my mind is the fact that these are one twos somewhere in this cage. Do they have to be on this Remban? Is this essentially a one, two, three Remban line? And I'm not really sure I know the answer to that one. Because this is such a long Remban. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's got all this all the digits. So I can absolutely put a 1 in here, hide the 2 somewhere where this cage won't see it. And I'm not going to have any problems. This is 
a tough one, Will. This is a very tough one. We've got an 8 9 pair. I remember saying that this is 7, so it's either like 3 4 or 2 5. It would have been so good if it's 3 4, that gives me kind of another pair, but I don't even know if I can guarantee any of that. And that's not a 9. Clutching at straws, aren't I, today? Two low digits. I am going to use colors extensively today. Two low digits. These have to be high. I suspect that these can't be high because six, seven, eight, nine would get me to 30. Equally, even if I minimize this with five, six, seven, eight. That'd be 13, 26, I can do too. So this can actually be as high as a five. I don't really want to do flashes. I am stumped. Right, let's go back to the 12 cage because remember, this is a Rembang. If this is one, two, three, that would be six. In fact, because this is 3-4, I can't do 2-3-4. I think I have a bit of a break in. Let me just clear up this. So one option is this is 1-2-3. Forcing this to be a 4, forcing this to be a 1, world is good. Now, if this is not 1-2-3, if this is 2-3-4, I've broken this cell. Okay, I haven't necessarily, I can do 1 and 4, so... Actually, no, I can't because remember, I have to have one and two in here, which was bad maths all along, apparently. I don't see the problem with actually, actually hang on, two, three, four gets me to nine, then I need a three. So I do have to have one and two, and two, three, four is too big. So, long way of saying this is one, two, three. Therefore, this is 4, this is 1, that's not 1, that's 1, 2, 3, that's definitely a 6. And now these three cells have to appear on this 9-cell remba, I should say. In particular, these two numbers, they don't appear in any of these. So where does one appear on this Ramban line, this nine cell Ramban line? It's not here, because I've already got a one. So this is two, four. These are not two, this is a one, three. This is a two. And the one has to be in one of these two cells. Now the one, three, I mean, I could actually have a three in here, so I'm not really gonna do much with that. This is from seven, eight, or nine. Don't know if I can do a lot more than this right now. Maybe the 18 cage so I can actually figure out what is going on with this one. So two, three, four here is a nine. That would be, that's actually doesn't work because it breaks this cell. So this is not two, three, four. The other possibility is three, four, five, which is 12 with a six. And then the last possibility would be four, five, six, which is 15 with a three. And there is definitely four and five in here, making this two, making this four. This is very tough going. This can't be, like, I must be missing more obvious things. This is not the four. The four would have to be in here. There's another nine cell Remban. None of these can be four. 
this is not a four one of these is the four no one in the ten cage this is two three five there are many ways of doing ten in three cells but once you have no ones two three five is fixed removing threes and twos this is now a one four pair which is nine sorry five i need a nine to get to 14 essentially 10 14 24 plus the 21 and this is a, a simple 678 which is lovely because that means these cells now are the flashes i can have a five in here but these cells have to be low because again thermometer if this is the five, these are going to be lower. If this is not a five, as in it's a blue digit, then yeah, can't have a five down the middle. This is getting like very interesting for me now. Really interesting. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So essentially, the remaining digits are the high digits that are not in here. They're at least a 6, plus 7, 8, and 9. Now, this is not the 6, because I already placed it on the, on the Remban. So this is a 4-6 pair, making this a 3, making this a 4-5-6 Remban, with 4 definitely in here. And therefore, I'm left with... 7, 8, and 9 to complete this row. And essentially, these two cells. Right. How much have I got left on this Remban line? I've done 1, I've done 2. 3 is not down here. And it's not in these two cells. That's the 3. 4. I need 5, which is certainly going to be in here. So this is 5 with another 7, 8, 9. And then here it's 1 with another 7, 8, 9. So that gives me 1, 7, 8, 9, 2, 7, 8, 9s, and 3, 7, 8, 9s with a 5 up here and a 1 down there. Okay. 7 is in one of, well, one of these three cells that's not a seven yeah really clutching at straws 17 minutes goodness where is the time going one two three four done that nine gives me that eight that was there a while that's not nine that's not eight now that's not six or seven that is eight that's not eight this is a six seven pair that three gives me the five. Neither of these are three anymore. That's two five pair. Can I do more with it at all? Almost, almost, not quite. Didn't mean to say five, I meant to say three. Yeah. So not quite almost anymore. This one four, that's not a one. That's not seven, eight, or that can only be a nine. These are not nine. These are not 7, 8. That's a 5, 9 pair. There are no 9s anymore on this Remban here. That is the 9 in row 4. Oh, this is going. This is going. This is cracking. Almost there. I say almost there with like only a third of it, but it just feels like we've had the breakthrough finally. And um, it's starting to fall apart reasonably quickly now. So you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, and a six. I still need a run of three digits. This can only be seven, eight, and nine, and the five is here at the end. That's not nine. That's a seven, eight pair. I mean, it may be useful later, but lovely. Just incredible stuff today, Will. So up here on this Ramban, I still need one and two on the Remban, and I can see they're not in here. So this is 
This is one and two for sure. This is not nine. Nine is definitely in here. I still, well, I mean, I've already placed a nine on this Ramban. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. The only thing that's missing is a seven, eight. One of them is up here. And then the second one is in here with its one, two. So I've got one, two, seven, eight, both pairs. This is a loose digit, which is a six, a five. Neither of these are a five. That's a four, six pair, which is correct because I've got a four, six down here. Now the seven, eights did line up and give me a six. This one, four gives me another one, four down here. I need another one, four and another two, three. Doesn't really help me that much in here. That six gives me this seven. Like how I spotted that six, but not this six, but progress. I'm just going to celebrate it all. I'm kind of tempted to go back to these cages, but I'm also not tempted. I'm, I'm just having fun with the rest of the puzzle. You know, famous last words. I may end up just coming back almost like immediately. <laughs> but so that's three high digits. So down here, I mean, because this can't be a nine, one of these has to be a nine. But yeah, I'm not sure I can tell just yet. Right, what do we have in here? We've got a two, three. And one, two, three, four, and a five. Not helpful. And then over here, we've got a one, four, and a two, three. Yeah, not really that helpful. Did I say I was going to come back to this? You know, I may be back far sooner than I was expecting. Hang on. Why did I have nine in here? That's just the nine. This is now seven or eight, because it's a high digit and it's not six and it's not nine. I've got a four, six pair as well. Significant because no idea. I think I've put her off long enough, haven't I? Time to tackle these, isn't it? This, they don't have to be different. So this could be as low as seven or as high as eight. Yeah, this can basically be any low digit, really. I've got four of these. I should say, so, I mean, if they're all four low digits, that would be a five, nine pair. That would be the nine. That would be the five, and it can't be. Because, you know, this can't be five or nine. So one of these for sure is a five. And then I have a nine, which can only be in here, in row six, and the low digit. Whatever that low digit is, we know it's not the three. This is one, two, or four. Seven and eight. I mean, it can, like, if, if they're both eights, I can have a four in here. So there really is no material restriction that I can see. Now, I feel like five in here would be would break the 23 case because I end up essentially with five, six, seven as the absolute minimum. That's 18. Then I have these two digits to get us to five, which actually works, unfortunately. Um, how would I do it? I can do one, four, and this would be three. Yeah, that all works. This, unfortunately, all does. So this can still be a five. Can I just... Five, six, seven, eighteen, one, four, three. Presumably that would be a two then. Which, again, works. And then down here would be a one, three, four. Total for the eight. Then because that's the four, yeah, all of that seems to work. Hmm.
You know it's serious, the Christmas hat has come off. Six is quite restricted. That's not one, it is two. That was there a while. That's not two, that's one or four. Somewhere along here is a three. So these are one, three, four, five, and one of them has to be a three. None of them, not these, they're not ones. And yeah, one of them can actually still be a three because I could do one, two, three. Now, if I do one, two, three on any of them, as in the three is in here, as opposed to in there, that would mean six, 12, even plus eight, that's only 20. And here, six, even with eight and nine, 17, that's only 23. So neither of these can be three. This is a four, five pair. This is one, this is three. I'm gonna check some of this in a second. But I'm pretty sure one, two, three doesn't work. Yeah, six, 14, plus nine, only 23. Six, 12, even with eight is only 20. So yeah, that's solid. That is a four or five pair. That plays the three, that places the one. These, unfortunately, now can be sevens. Doesn't force a double eight. I don't think it really helps me with my five situation, does it? I have one, seven, eight. I have a four, five somewhere. And a three. Okay. I have another four, five, and another. No, I don't have a four, five. That is the five, because that's a four, six pair. That's the four. Finally, finally, I say, I mean, I don't know if it's actually going to help me at all. And this is now a three, five pair. I, mean, I had even a one, four staring at it, as I was saying, four, five. Ridiculous. And then we have another seven, eight, and a two cannot place, nor can I place the 7-8. So this is one or two, this is two or three now. I think the thermometer must be not far off doable at this point, and this is two, three, four. Shall I think about, which one shall I think about? This one feels more restricted. I've got 10. These have to add up to 13. So this is either eight with a five, which could be essentially only two, three at this point, and then that would be the one, that would be the seven. And then that would be the five, nine, I assume, yeah. Now, the other possibility of this is seven, is that this needs to add up to, well, it can't add up to anything bigger than five, because essentially I'd have 10 and 17, and I need that to get to six, and two, four are not available, and one five are not available. So this is eight. This is hard today. Seven, two, three, one, another five, nine down here. Have we got any more yet? I've got this three, this five, this three. That was sort of my fault really, celebrating a bit too early. This is not a flash. I'm thinking that I've already cracked it, but not at all, it seems. Um, I know what this is. This is 278. Okay, that doesn't it's of no material consequence, but this is not 3. This is not 2. This doesn't give me the 78. Probably is time for me to think about it, though, and just see if I can actually also solve this thermometer. Probably, probably. Have I got any better ideas? This Remban, not really. This cage, I haven't really used at all. Right, let's just finish this thermo. Let's think about this. So I've got 14 requiring another 14. Now, if that was 8, this would need to be 6. And 1, 5 not available, 2, 4 is not available. That's definitely 7, is what I'm going to say. And therefore, I need another 7, which can only be 3 and 4, in my opinion. 
and this now adds up to 12 plus 16 that's 28 that's 8 that's 6 that's 4 that's 6 that's 4 this is 1 2 and this is 1 2 well it's not 1 otherwise you'll break the 8 cage so that's the 1 that's not 1 there is a 2 in here with a 7 8 incredibly these oh no hang on that's 2 8 now that give me anything? No. I do have a triplet, and therefore to complete this, I need a one, which we already established is not on the bottom row, and I need, I'm going to say a five. This cage must be doable now, um, because essentially whatever this is leaves me with a remainder that needs to add up to 22, which includes a nine, one of seven eights, and a 6. 9 and 6 is 15, and therefore I need another 7. This is an 8. 2, 8, 2, 7. These are 6, 7, 9. This is not 7 or 9, that's the 6. One of these is 7, one of these is 9. 2, 5 means this is in fact a 1, 3, 4, cage and this is now a five one cage gives me the four what well, hang on hang on hang on hang on what did i just mess up i really messed that one up these are fine right so eight cages i have one option which is one two five which it clearly isn't and then another option which is one three four which it has to be This cannot be one or four, this has to be a three. That's not the three. I need to have a five in this cage. Yeah, I, I added six and five to 11, then I decided I need a one to get to 13. That's the problem. Three, two, uh, another one, four. Not a five, that's a nine, that's a five, that's a nine, that's an eight. Doesn't fix the one seven for me, does it? Seven, eight are fixed. That's eight, that's seven. Come on, the Dutch whisper. It was probably there like since the beginning. Come on, sleuth. That's a seven, that's a nine. And then we're basically on the home stretch. What is a high digit that can be next to a two that is not six, eight, or nine? It is a seven, a one, a seven. And then nothing left in terms of constraints here other than Sudoku. We can just write some of these digits in one two three i need a four it can only be in here i need a five it can only be in there i need a six which is in there and then to finish up if i've not made any other mistakes eight and the solution to today's puzzle 217 solves um deserves more attention will for sure it's an absolutely phenomenal puzzle you see there's nothing difficult about it you didn't need like all sorts of geometry tricks and shenanigans to make progress but you just needed to use all the clues that are given to try and just make slow steady progress with the many variants that are in there and it's just what, what a phenomenal puzzle i really enjoyed every minute of it even though it's a bit lengthy today at 32 minute solve I think if I'm just a little bit more awake around the Dutch Whispers, some of these digits like that 1, 4 next to the 6 could have been done ages ago. And I'm sure there were a few of these that probably could have shaved at least 5 minutes, if not 10 minutes off that solve. But definitely appropriate 2-star difficulty rating. Hope that you guys enjoyed it and you didn't find it too difficult for middle of the week. And um, that you enjoyed the puzzle and the video. And see you back for the next one. Bye for now.